Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm Lindsay and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. We base our reviews on a 25 point scale, 5 points on the nose, 10 on the palate, 5 on the finish, and 5 points combined for the bottle and color of the juice. Now on to the review. Whew, I'm ready to throw you for a loop, but you got yeah. some real crappy notes. So. <laughs> I don't know about crappy. I didn't rate it too bad. Oh, okay. It's just very different. Hmm. Okay. So some weird notes on this one. I get dill pickle. And it took me a while to get out of that. It's not a good smell for a whiskey. Did you put some pickle juice in here? No. <laughs> Did you wash this with pickle juice? You I smell, smell caramel. You don't smell dill pickle. Okay. No, I don't smell dill pickle. So yeah, I get dill pickle. Slight cinnamon, a little bit of oak, and a little vanilla. A little spearmint and menthol. I don't know the difference between menthol and eucalyptus. They smell the same to me. Me too. I don't know. Maybe menthol comes from eucalyptus. If you know, let us know. And I get bread. It smells like bread. Yeasty bread. Oh, okay. I give it a three out of five. If that dill pickle wasn't in there, and I keep getting it, it's hard to get past it. It'd be a little bit higher. Okay. How about the taste? That's a lot of rye in it. Nice amount of oak, a lot of vanilla, still tastes like bread. It's a little peppery, but it's super simple. I had another note down, but I'm gonna put it in the finish because it kind of fades to be in the finish. There's just not much to talk about on it. It just tastes kind of young, even though there is some oak in there. Okay. So I give it a six out of 10. It's not bad. It's not off-putting, just simple. finish now it, peppery <laughs> it just fades to like a char and a little bit of vanilla and that yeasty bread and then that eucalyptus menthol -y mint aftertaste comes back how many of you had today you're starting to woo <laughs> no, all right i'm a professional no oh, professional day drinker but i just don't like that menthol -iness in there not sure why that's mm. a thing it's just I gave it a three out of five. Everything's just decent. Okay. Now the look is like honey. Maybe a little lighter than honey. Everything looks like pea <laughs> It's got many legs, a ton of legs. Yeah, it does. Ooh. It looks a little thin. And they're a little fast moving, but they stick for quite a while. So I give it a two. I wish it was a little darker though. What are your guesses? I'm guessing a high west product. It has a lot of rye in it. And that dill kind of reminds me of something they would do. Even though I haven't gotten that. But dill you usually get with a rye whiskey. Oh, okay. So I'm way wrong. Well, this is 15% rye. Okay. Um... It's aged four to six years, and they have an 80, an 86, a 90, and a 100 proof, I think. That's what you so said. So that would be very old Barton. Look at this good old $14 bottle. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm going to give the bottle a one, because this is not a good looking bottle. Yeah, it's a little yeah. wonky. It does, the, the sticker's just, ugh. Yeah. And the plastic cap, it does remind me of an old Weller bottle from back in the day yeah, when I used to buy them. That's the truth. I think they're the same one, actually. So they have four different offerings. I didn't finish, did I? Oh, I'm I give it a one. sorry. You said you Jeez. gave it a one. I don't remember. So Why adding up my scores. Of math? That's going to put it at an even 60. Oh. Which is not bad because what, it's about 13, 14 bucks? Uh, I got this for $14 out the door. Um, 
We have a few more. I love mixing it. It's, I mean, it's cheap. It's, it's cheap decent. and it's good. So this is kind of our fun thing. A lot of people have a hard time finding it, and we see it around here quite a bit. But I think it's just because it's Sazerac yeah. and Martin. And... Um, so they do offer it. We have what do we have? 86? 90? 90. 90. We, we have get 90. 90 here in Michigan. So they do offer it in 80, 86, 90, and 100 proof. Um, it's so cheap, and I think a lot of people go, hmm. But honestly, this is better entry level anything than like a lot of it. This is pretty much entry level 1792. So it's okay. I mean, I wouldn't go to it as a need when no. there's so many other options, but if you're at someone's house and they offer it, you're not going to say no. No, it's good stuff. I mean, it's decent. It's not the best thing out there, but yeah. I mean, I think a 60 is very accurate for how you feel about it. Pretty cool. It's got some quality for being that price. There's not yeah. many down in that price point that you would want to sip like this. Right. I agree. That you dill have... is just weird, though. That's like I'm doing the taste. Just the no, nose. it doesn't. I think yeah. your, your big old sniffers pulling in some smells. That doesn't smell anything like dill to you? No. Once I got it, I couldn't get rid of it. No, I kind of get like a... I just smell like a vanilla caramel. I kind of get like dusty cornmeal now that's weird dusty cornmeal i work in pizza i know what that dusty sounds like cornmeal. all right so you happy with it yeah 60 i yeah. actually thought it would be a little lower so kind of surprised yeah well there you go and there you have it So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share us to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.